Hey guys, your inner chakras. Welcome back to the channel, guys. If you are new, you are welcome, guys. Today is Thursday, and it is Truth Day. So I will be telling some truth. All right, guys. Hey, I don't know if y'all started following me on TikTok, like some of you that don't, but I don't know. I got 18 new subscribers, and I haven't posted on over there in a minute, at least a couple months, right? I haven't posted Maybe I posted last month or two months ago. I don't know. But hey, come on over to the wild side. I'll get back over there in a minute. Your girl's just been busy. I've been grinding. Well, y'all know. I've been grinding. But it's not about me. It's about the truth. And it's either your person is telling you some truth or your person is telling somebody else the truth. Right? You decipher which is which. But we're going in... Tonight is truth telling, right? We're pulling out all the troops and all the secrets. Holy Spirit, what is out there that my collective needs to see? What do you need to know about, right? This truth deck isn't that nice, but hey, we're always here for an answer. All right, guys. I pray... You are able to trust and believe in me again. Okay? Somebody needs your trust and belief in them again, right? And they're praying about it. I don't even know how to approach you anymore. They don't even know what to say to you when they do come to you. They don't even know. They don't even know how to say, "Hey, how you been?" Blah, blah, blah. You know what I mean? And then they said, stop texting me all day long. It's too much. So somebody is texting this person. I don't think that's you. That's not you. That's somebody else. All right. So they're talking to two people tonight. You want me to be loyal and dedicated, but you're not loyal nor dedicated. That's not to you. And the reason why I say that's not to you is because this person wants you back. And I pray you are able to trust and believe in me again. And they don't even know how to approach you. So it's not you, right? It's not you. They're probably not even talking to you right now. But somebody else is texting them, right? And that someone wants this person to be loyal and dedicated. But they're saying that that person is not loyal nor dedicated. But we will revisit that. Holy Spirit, one more. Mm, and there we have it. Sometimes I feel unlovable. All right. So let's focus on you right now, and we'll get to that person. Slide Kipper right on up in here. Hey, Kipper. Hey, girl. <laughs> What's going on, Kipper? Guys, I'm in a good mood. I don't even know why. Probably because it's Thursday. All right, guys. What is going on with Kipper? Kipper, add to this truth. Who is this person? Who's praying? This person has gloomy thoughts. Uh, I guess those gloomy thoughts are them feeling unlovable, how they said there. They do feel unlovable. Ooh. 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 And this person is sick. This woman is sick. I don't even know how to approach you anymore, so I don't know if she's sick right here. I'm trying to get this person back. I don't think this is you. I think this is them. Stop texting me all day long. It's too much, right? All right, let's get it. Ooh, these cards are hot. Main person. Told you. I don't even know how to approach you anymore. They don't even know what to say to you. They feel unlovable. Sometimes I feel unlovable. This person with the short illness, they're in court. They're in court. They want this person back, but this person wants you. Maybe they never had you, but they want you. This has been a long journey for this person here. It's been a long journey. And this woman here may be receiving unexpected money. They're in court. Maybe they're getting a divorce. And maybe she's going to get a little something. We're making these cards talk. It's sad news for this lady in court. It's sad news. She may be she may get a little bit of money, but that's not what she wants. She wants that person. 
So they could be getting a divorce. She's laid up in a wedding dress right here. She's sad. She's sick. This man here could be saying, stop texting me all day long. It's too much. Whatever, whatever. And they're thinking about you. Holy Spirit, this main person who's a woman. What's going on, Spirit? Make these cards talk. Because the energy is jumping. This person is very hopeful, guys. They're hopeful and they're praying that you will be able to trust and believe in them again, right? This man here is in grief and adversity. He could be stressed out because of court. Could be stressed out because of you. Stressed out for one woman. Stressed out about the other woman. And then we have a rich girl. All right, let's dig in. We'll go back to Kipper if we need to. But in the meantime, between time, let's put some butter on this bread, shall we? Let's put some butter on this bread. Holy Spirit, clarify. I hope you're able to trust and believe in me again. Who is this person? What are they talking to be? This person is a hermit. They're thinking, they're definitely praying. That's hermit, right? And they're ending something. Two of Cups is in reverse. Spirit, clarify, I don't even know how to approach you anymore. Page of Swords. So they're just kind of watching you. They don't know how to approach you, though. They don't know to say hi, hello, how you doing, how you been. Uh, five of Swords. They could have betrayed you somewhere along the way. So that's why they don't know how to uh, approach you anymore. Spirit, clarify. Sometimes I feel unlovable. All right. I'm going to take it. Five of Pentacles. Um, they could have left someone out in the cold. They could have left you out in the cold. They're about to leave this woman out in the cold. Maybe they feel unlovable. Holy Spirit, clarify. What is that? The Five of Pentacles? Eight of Wands. Yeah, they're moving on. They're moving on from someone, something. Maybe they're just feeling unlovable right now, you know? Holy Spirit. Who are they talking to? Stop texting me all day long. It's too much. What's going on there? It's unbalanced. They're tired of this person texting them. It's a missed opportunity here. Spirit, clarify you want me to be loyal and dedicated, but you're not loyal nor dedicated. To a wise and reverse. This person's moving on. They're not trying to be loyal to that person anymore. Holy Spirit, clarify this short illness for this woman in this wedding dress. Four of Cups. She's sad because she knows that that man is over it. He's over it. Four of Cups is I'm over it, basically. What's happening in court, Spirit? Let's talk to these cards. Knight of Wands in reverse. And maybe it was just too much cheating going on between the two of them. Holy Spirit, Knight of Wands in reverse. This person wants a new beginning. So they're definitely in court, definitely ending things there. Spirit, clarify this unexpected money here. Nine of Swords. She may be getting some money, but she's definitely up in her head about it. And she doesn't want it to be over. Eight of Cups in reverse. Um, could be stalling, fear of change. Clarify this woman that's sad. She's in church too. She's sad. Why are you sad? Ace of Swords, because she got clarity on the situation. She probably knows it's over, so she's really sad about it. Spirit, clarify these gloomy thoughts over here. Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Maybe you, this person is thinking that it's not going to work if uh, they do come back to you. So they could be feeling some type of a way about it, you know, a little. Uh, they're also in gloomy thoughts because their marriage could be ending for wands. They could be losing their joy, their stability or whatever, or lost joy and stability or what they thought was joy and stability. So they're definitely sad about what's happening over here in court, which is understandable. 
Spirit, who is this main person here? Who is this main lady? Who are you, lady? Main person here. Ten of Cups in reverse. Is she coming out of a connection too? Yeah, maybe this is who they're walking away from. Holy Spirit, clarify this Ten of Cups in reverse. Page of Wands in reverse. She doesn't know what to do, so this is the same lady. It's the same lady. He could be in gloomy thoughts. He's definitely leaving her. Um, I don't know, guys. Holy Spirit, clarify this journey. Queen of Swords. Somebody's moving on, and she has options. This could be a man crying to another woman saying, I pray you were able to believe me again. So he could be crying to you and you're leaving him. I mean, you're sad about it too. You know what I mean? You're sad about it too. I don't know. Holy Spirit, clarify big hope water. It's King of Pentacles. He is hopeful though. I think this main person... This main woman here is this woman, but the Ten of Cups is ending here. And it's been a long journey for this person. Queen of Swords making a decision. She does have options. He may have options as well. He's hopeful for something. Spirit, clarify this King of Pentacles. Three of Swords. His heart is broken. Grief and adversity. Holy Spirit. Ten of Pentacles. He could be upset. Uh, about his family maybe he thought they was going to build or maybe they was building together could be losing a business right knight of cups okay it looks like he's about to offer his love to someone else maybe he's hoping that he can build with this person he is a little stressed out though he's definitely stressed it's like he's trying to get to you she's trying to keep him Holy Spirit, clarify this rich girl. Who are you, sunshine? That's who they're trying to get to. It's the fool card. They're taking a leap of faith. They're trying to get to that woman. They're taking a leap of faith for this one. Spirit, clarify this fool card. Ace of Cups, and they're not offering love to someone else. Either that or they're taking a leap of faith and unsure if this woman is going to take their cup or not. Holy Spirit, clarify this Three of Swords. They're hopeful, though. Their heart is broken, but they're hopeful as they try to move forward. Clarify this Knight of Pentacles, Knight of Cups. Two of Pentacles, definitely up in their head, trying to get their stuff in order. They don't know what to say or do right now. Spirit, clarify. Just Ace of Cups in reverse. Five of Cups. They, they are taking the leap of faith, but they also have regrets that they're not offering love to this person anymore. It's a lot of regrets going on. So they want your forgiveness. This person wants their forgiveness. And they're hoping, you know, that you can forgive them. Holy Spirit, clarify this four of wands in reverse. They're not a hangman anymore. They know it's coming to an end or it has come to an end or it soon will be an end. Um, but this person, they just want to be happy. This man just wants to be happy. Probably with this Queen of Cups that I just flipped over. They're definitely ending something here. A hierophant dropping their burdens in a connection. And they're standing in their strength here. And then here's the death card. They're leaving this lovers here. Lovers in reverse. And once they do all of that, then they have the will of fortune. So the odds are in their favor. And if you are a man, then the odds are in your favor. The moon. They're definitely following their intuition. We have a queen of wands here in reverse. Spirit, clarify the Queen of Wands in reverse. Six 
Six of Cups. She's thinking about the past. Or maybe she feels like he's cheating with someone from the past. She could feel that way as well. Spirit, clarify the Six of Cups. Nine of Wands. Yeah, she feels that's who he's going after. He's being persistent. He's going back to someone from the past, which would be this, asking for your forgiveness. Spirit, clarify this Nine of Wands. Something flipped and I'm going to take it. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, she knows. She's pissed that he's trying to go back to somebody from the past. Spirit, clarify this Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, Five of Wands. She feels like he put her in competition with other people. She's not happy about it. Things never took flight with them. Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Spirit, clarify this Queen of Wands in reverse. Maybe they cheated with you when they was married. I don't know if you knew they was married or not, but maybe they did. Um, three of Cups in reverse. Yeah, that's who they cheated with, overindulgence. And that's who this man is trying to get back to. He's trying to get back to the person he cheated with. Spirit said, take this card. See how I just flung out? I'm going to take it. King of Cups in reverse. Yeah, they was cheating with this person because they were not offering love to the other person no more. Spirit, clarify this King of Cups in reverse. Six of Wands. He can see victory. It could also be someone who's in the public eye trying to go forward, I guess. Maybe people are encouraging this person to go forward. Yeah, definitely facing their judgment and all of that. This person here could feel manipulated, want things to work with the, the new person or the old person that's about to become new again. Holy Spirit, anything else for the collective? This is kind of long. Nine of Cups. I think you are this person's wish fulfillment. Nine of Cups. And they're swimming away to karma waters. They could be addicted to you. Definitely an attraction. But they're going forward. Or maybe the devil's trying to hold them back. But they're going forward. And they're holding their, keeping their feelings to themselves. They won't, This is justice to them. They're moving on. Knight of Swords energy right here. The woman could be trying to heal. She's healing. The tower done hit. Because this man is moving on. There's the chariot. All right, guys. Empress in reverse. I think she cheated. Infidelity. Spirit, clarify this Empress in reverse. She probably cheated. I don't know. Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Could have been in her little ego. Nine of Pentacles in reverse. He may feel used or whatever. I mean, she is about to get some money, though. But anything else? He wants a whole brand new world. This person is moving on. Not offering love to this person anymore. And he's going back to somebody. Ten of Swords in reverse. He's going back to get somebody from the past. And there he is. Stepping out on faith. Faith as the page of Pentacles. Alright guys. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Peace. Don't forget to follow me on TikTok. It's your inner chakras. Or Instagram. Your inner chakras. <laughs> Peace.